I have a wonderful connection to this movie. Oh my god. Oh my god. Of all things, it's Clifford the Big Red Dog. I just clicked. I'm such an idiot. Like, this makes sound. If you don't know the context, it sounds so weird. Now, do you want to see the good side of Clifford the Big Red Dog? I'm not going to show you the cartoon. But Clifford the Big Red Dog is very near and dear to my heart personally. All right? Do we have a song that matches? Sure. When I was a kid, I enjoyed the cartoon. I was a big fan of the, the thing. I was also a fan of something else as a kid. McDonald's. I don't know why. Maybe because it was overly crammed with salt. And I was experiencing it for the first time at the age of four, five, and six. And seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and all the rest of them. But either way, it peaked truly in 2002. In 2002, I lived in London. Now that has nothing to do with Clifford the Big Red Dog. Not really much to do with McDonald's at all. But the merging of the two makes sense. McDonald's in the UK at around this time, there was a collaboration with McDonald's and Clifford the Big Red Dog. They were toys of Clifford the Big Red Dog. Now I didn't go to a McDonald's, buy these toys and have a good time with them. I went the next step beyond. I was there for the advertising of it. I, when I lived in London, was a child actor, or a child model is a bit more accurate. Um, I'll probably be able to find some photos someday, or they're just on my Instagram. One of the things I did, 100%, this is real, I showed up on UK television for two weeks, maybe one week, I think two weeks, to advertise the Clifford the Big Red Dog toys you could get at McDonald's. That is real. That is, I have a friend who remembers that advert, recognizes it. You're all saying no, but I'll have you know, it's actually really wholesome. And you know what else? I have the footage. I have the footage. I mean, this is, this is my footage. Uh, it, this, this is my private channel. This is where it goes. It's, it's live. Other people have heard about it. Look, that's young Daz. Do you ready to see young Daz from 2002? This is me. This is me when I went for, oh, it's February 27th, 2003. There you go, I was six. This was me enjoying the area where we shot it. This is me on another show called Yes No Game Show where I had to get in a race. And this is my shining star moment. I have never been viewed as many times as in this video alone. Not here where I've only gotten, oh, 40,000 views actually. You can't quite see it, but I've got 40,000 views. That's pretty good. But this was shown across the country. This is me. And Clifford. That's me. I don't laugh anymore. Team up with Clifford and his chums at McDonald's and enjoy That's me. Bigger than a building. That's not me. I don't even remember anymore. There are nine toys. One with every McDonald's happy meal. That's, that's my debut. 30 second advert, cast across the entire of the UK. Oh yeah, I've been around. I remember it fondly as well in that the reason I was laughing is because this shot was not actually recording as far as I was aware. I had a little toy, they told me, you know, you bounce it on the house and then jump it down. Did that like 30 times. And then we're like, right, we're on a break. Uh, Daryl, do you know any jokes? And I was like, no. You know, can you make us laugh? And I was like, no, I'm not a comedian yet. Um, and so eventually the, the director was like, man, we can't, also was telling me jokes. I don't think I was laughing all that much. But then uh, the, the, there was a moment of, um, I was like, oh, I can, I, I don't know how the conversation got there, but I was like, I've got a really long tongue. That's funny. And then the director too had a really long tongue. And then he showed me, and then I laughed, and they were recording the whole time. So, this is me laughing at a tongue, because it has a muscle that lifts up at the end. And I was like, that's so funny, I've known no one else that could... You know, it's probably because I had to make the lick. That makes sense. Either way... If you ever want to know what my real laugh sounds like, apparently it's that. <laughs> sounds a bit more demonic when I say it now, huh? It has been almost 20 years. But otherwise, I had a good time. 
you know? I was there was like eight other rival models. And I, I, I won. I was too cute, I guess. Remember when McDonald's looked like this? Stylized? This took forever. We've also got bloopers of this. I need to find the bloopers. That'd be really cool. There are loads of times that I missed the cart. I don't think I knew what I was doing for a while for some reason. I was like, why would... Oh, that was it. I was like, why would... Why would Clifford block the... Why would Clifford block the cart? That doesn't make sense. That's so rude. So I was always like, oh, I'll let him go. And then I'll put him down or I'll have the dog chase it. But no, the Clifford the Big Red Dog is causing Enjoy traffic issues. So they do. And then apparently I have a dopey side view. Don't know why. But there you are. That's my... That's the London look. Not even a year later, I think I moved away. I decided I didn't want to do modeling anymore because I was too busy wanting to play Mario Kart Double Dash. That is real. And then never got back into modeling because, well, I started looking like this. My camera's frozen, so there you go. <laughs>